Normally when City play away in Europe in the Champions League, and tonight is no exception, I show you around the city where the game is being hosted. Now Tottenham is North London, but this of course is the London that you do know, the central area where all the tourist attractions are, starting with the big wheel behind me on the River Thames. So here you are, you're taking the sights of Westminster. Uh, you, you've made a weekend of it, have you a long weekend of it? Four or five days, yeah, yeah. So at the semi-final, and then we'll be staying here tonight to watch the game. We're not going, we're not going to get tickets, but we'll be watching it tonight. So you've stayed down here yeah. just for a bit of sightseeing. But sightseeing. You can't get to the game. No, but we had the semi final on Friday, on Saturday. That's, well, that's so. a shame you can't get to no, the game. No, never mind, never mind. Did you enjoy the semi final? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was and what do you think tonight then? Easy. Oh, why not? Easy. Really Strolling the park. Yeah, yeah, you got to be, haven't you? Got to be. <laughs> Superb all over. seem to be a lot of cameras down here at the moment outside Westminster but there'll be more I'm sure at the game tonight sure that's more important in London at the moment isn't it than what goes on in the Houses of Parliament that are behind me so this is the Palace of Westminster and that would be where Big Ben is and the House of Lords are back there as well and I just happen to know one of the Lords Lord Dave Goddard of Stockport and he's a City fan so I'm going to go in there now and see what he has to say about tonight's game. So you're a big City fan? I am, yeah. You must be busy for you at the moment in the House of Lords. Have you got a chance to actually think about tonight's game? Well, I've been thinking about it. I mean, Brexit's a big problem, but I think the quadruple's a bigger problem. But I think one will fail and one will pass. And I think the one that passes uh, has a manager called Guardiola and not me. <laughs> Do you think City will do it tonight? I mean, what? I think I think tonight we're, we're narrow victory, either one or two nil. Um, if Tottenham come at us like he's threatening to do, all the better because we love playing football. If they go defensive, then it could be a bit more tricky. But I think Spurs in the new stadium will throw it the full kitchen sink at City, and that will play right into our hands. Have you got used to running the gauntlet of protesters when you go in and out of here? It's, uh, some days it's a bit treacherous, but uh, I have took to wearing my City scarf and that helps a little bit, but not on the tube, but it does around here. And you haven't got a ticket tonight, have you? You're on the train back to watch it on TV. Yeah, no, I had a ticket for tonight, but we, we shouldn't have been sitting. But then they brought us back for Brexit, so I saw my ticket. So um, I'm really upset about two more things to worry about, but I'll be hopefully watching it tonight, yeah. <laughs> The bridge behind me is, of course, Tower Bridge. A gentleman from America called Robert P. McCulloch actually was alleged to have wanted to buy that bridge, but actually bought a different one, which was being dismantled and got rid of by the London authorities long, long time ago. And it was taken brick by brick to Arizona, where it still is a tourist attraction. But although that's a nice theory, in reality, I think he knew which bridge he was buying. But that one behind me, Tower Bridge, it's a pretty special one, isn't it? And if you think of London, I think you often think of that bridge. It might be hard to believe when you look at me now, but back in 1989, I actually ran the London Marathon. Three hours 24, not a bad time either. And this stretch of cobbles here outside the Tower of London was actually one of the most difficult stretches to run along for the marathon. Uh, but tonight, it isn't about a marathon, it's more about a sprint when City play at Spurs, isn't it? Crown jewels are in there, Queen's crown, all that stuff, yeah, in there. Final stop on my quick tour of London before I go to the game is here at Buckingham Palace. You might not be able to see it, but on top there, see if I can highlight it for you. Yeah, you can just about see that the flag is up, which means the Queen's in. I wonder if she's got a taxi waiting to take her up to Tottenham Hotspur's ground later on. What do you think, eh? The next station is Seven Sisters. Change for London Overground and National Rail Services. It just feels like the old ground, doesn't it? You do that walk, brings back a lot of memories. From Seven Sisters? Yeah. What do you think tonight then? Um, well, I'm not going to make predictions. I just uh, think we'll get through in the two legs. That's all that matters. Talking to people at Wembley, they said they'd take a draw. Well, if it gets us through and we get the away goal or goals, so be it, because they're not a bad side, are they? 
Are you worried about the new stadium factor that there might be an extra atmosphere? Like Kevin De Bruyne and me, not at all. Not at all. It's just a, it's just a feel, isn't it? So from the Queen's house to the new Spurs house on the second time they'll have played at home tonight. Let's see what it's like inside. Behind me is Tottenham's store. It's supposed to be the biggest in the world. If you want to see what it looks like inside, then have a look at the video that I did for the Tottenham versus City League game earlier this season, which was at Wembley, but I came here and already that store was open. So have a look at that video and you'll see what it's like inside. <coughs> so here we go, inside uh, the best stadium in Europe, apparently. Let's see what it's really like. There's the turnstiles. Experience of this ground been so far? Well, I've got in, but it was a hard way round. I mean, you, you saw it coming off White Hart Lane Station. It's signed for uh, Gate 11, which is the away end. Uh, but then you sort of follow Gate 11, it just disappears to nothing. So you have to ask, and it sends you through the underground car park for Sainsbury's. Again, with no sign of how to get out the other end. So it needs better signage. Well, it's all right. It's empty at the moment. We'll find out how good it is at the end of the game. But it is a great stadium, to be fair. What's your mood ahead of tonight? Are you optimistic? Optimistic. You've got to be, haven't you? No, I think we'll be all right. Don't forget, two legs, this, this one. Is there some result tonight that's super? Uh, well, a win, obviously. But just to be still in the game, I think. You know, we've got to look at it. How many games? 12 games left in all competitions. So... It, Everything's not going to be won or lost tonight. We've got to think about it over a 12 day period. Yeah, a bit nervous today, actually. Uh, trepidation. We've not been playing well the last two games, in my view, anyway. Not a normal fluid cell. Has Paul only been saving himself for this game? I hope so, but looking at the team sheet, I don't think De Bruyne is playing either, is he? I'm not seeing it. No, no. De Bruyne is not playing. No. Delves playing. Bernardo Silva's not playing. I've got Mares playing, so they have to show up now. They have to Are show up. Surprised by that? Then? I am. I don't know if it's injury-led or tactical. We'll find out. But it's about time. I think we've got it's enough to get the squad to win today. I think we'll be all right. I quite like it. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Um, we're at the bar now, and the uh, same prices at our place. So uh, I'll have a few more to celebrate. Hopefully after. Have you got one of these glasses? Oh yeah, yeah. So did you see it being filmed? Yeah, I did. I'm easily pleased. <laughs> so I've just had to queue up at the food stand to buy my programme. I bought one today because it's a special game. And of course Spurs know that. Fiver for the programme. I fancy having to queue with the food and drink. Well I was impressed walking towards it, but you get inside and it's a bit like a corporate mausoleum. Everything's glass outside, people sat down at tables having a three course meal. So you come in here and it's, I've got to say, it's not best ever. The toilets, it's about that deep in we, or, or maybe they've had a burst and they need to call a plumber. But let's hope the performance from City tonight is a lot better than my first impressions of the stadium. All the best, City. Come on. Are you optimistic? I am, yeah, I think 2 0 tonight. I've seen the team on the way in, however, looks a little bit defensive from Pep as all. Well. He's sort of making sure that we don't concede any ground, that we don't uh, let anything in in this end. But I still think we'll score. I think this team that Tottenham have got, they're a good team, but I don't think they're a match for us. So 2-0 we're going forward as a collective. I think we've set ourselves up quite defensively minded, which we'll see for the first 10, 15 minutes. We've just had a, a chat with some Spurs fans on the train and they're thinking they're going to get smashed by us today, so which is hopeful. But yeah, take a win back to our place next week. And Are you expecting the atmosphere in here to be different than it would have been if it had been at Wembley or White Hart Lake? Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. yeah I'm at, well, you're coming here now and heard all this singing as soon as you walk through the door, so that's that's good, isn't it? I don't know, we've not been out pitch side yet, so we'll have to see, but I'm not... Yeah, I think they'll have a few teething problems while they start some of the bits of the ground out, won't they? But, uh, yeah, OK, it's very corporate, isn't it, when you're used to standing on, a, on the steps at the kid packs. But, yeah, we're going to have to get used to that, aren't it? Football's in a different area now, so we're just going to have to go with the flow, I think. What do you 
think then. Not an easy one, but we've got the second leg to come, so whatever happens tonight, we can comfortable in the second leg. You've just been taking pictures of the ground, what do you think of it? It looks good. It'll be good when it's finished. It's so impressive. How's that? No, it's fantastic. It is probably one of the best stadiums I've been in, ever. So, I mean, it's a testament to what Tottenham have done. They've waited to get it exactly right. I mean, it's very, very impressive. Not from the outside, when you get inside, it's even more impressive. What a great stadium to play at. What are you expecting tonight? I take it you've seen the team. I have, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit surprised that Kevin De Bruyne isn't starting. There must be a reason for it. And no Bernardo Silva. He's got to be injured because he's not even in the 18. Pep's only said a week ago that he's the, how can you leave him outside? So he must have picked up a knock at Wembley. Um, Delph comes in, he has the experience. Um, it's not our strongest side. Sani, if uh, I was manager, and that's why I'm sat here and Pep's in the dressing room, Sani would have started for me. But it would be nice to argue with what Pep Guardiola does. Uh, very, very 50 50 balls. <laughs> I didn't think it was a penalty, we got away with that one. I don't know how we missed it. Uh, to be honest, we, we, we need to bring her on. We need something to spark the team. And Mares can go and do one for all I get, because it's a useless move. You're not happy with it? Not at all. I've been all season. £60 million and I've not seen it go over that way line yet. Are you confident City are going to get a goal here? We need, we need a goal. We don't have to. We need a goal to take it back home, to take it back when we get home. But no, I'm not very really happy to be honest. Uh, there needs to be changes, certainly changes. Um, I'm a bit despondent silly. I'm not the armor like this, but I am today, mate. We can blow these away at home. The best team's lost here tonight. That's a poor first side. They're not long balls all day. They don't play any football. That's not sour grapes. We've been beaten tonight, but we have great enough chances to beat them next week all day long. Maybe could have changed it with 10-15 left. They looked absolutely knackered just before they scored. Should have changed it then. Too late when we made the changes, but we'll win this one. We're not out of this. No, absolutely. We're blowing his away off. No. I'll have no pain for the second leg. He looked like his ankle had gone. Uh, and without him, I know they scored the goal without him playing, but no, we'll beat this. I'm happy. We're not good. Sane, Sane and De Bruyne should have been on the pitch from the first minute. Ridiculous. It brings on in the 86th minute and they've made more impact than any other minute. I think uh, we'll beat them all. We did quite well today. What went wrong with that then tonight? I think we played quite well. Just uh, we gave a uh, silly goal away to be honest. Um, Sergio should have scored. Yeah, disappointed. I thought it started off well. First 10-15 minutes, missed the penalty. Didn't seem to get a decision, I think, after that penalty decision. The, uh, the referee didn't seem to give us a lot. But it's one there, we've still got next week. It's only 1-0, it's not the end of the world. So, you know, let's go into next week's game. And I think they'll only have 3,000 supporters there, then it'll be a bit different ball game then. So, I thought Gundogan played quite well, actually, to be honest. I thought, I thought he'd probably have a man of the match, actually. Other than that, well, not a lot really, I give the ball away a lot, surprisingly, I said to tonight. Um, Walker got caught a few times, went down quite easy when I felt he could have kept it on his feet and maybe gone a bit stronger, you know, but not to worry. It's next week, live another day, I think a bit will do him next week. And I don't know. Yeah, yeah, big time, big time, yeah, I felt that very strongly. Surprised it's not Sarnish, to be honest, other than Mares. Um, surprised with the substitutions as well, they made late substitutions there. That they should have come on maybe a wee bit earlier, especially when we went 1-0 down, you know, but it's the way it goes, isn't it, you know what I mean? It's, it's not the end of the world, we've still got next week, so uh, we'll do them two times now at home, so uh, we'll be seeing you, don't worry. This time next week. I couldn't see us getting beaten that game. The second half, we are on top, I think the substitutions came a bit late, had have brought De Bruyne on and maybe Sarni. A lot of the supporters felt that you should have come on, after about 65 minutes when we were then just turned the screw. We were on top, Gate was sat back a little bit more, and that might have been the time for Kevin De Bruyne and for Leroy Sane. I was only just saying to one of the lads, 
literally a minute before. I hope we don't get done with a sucker punch. And again, the goal was a bad goal to concede. He's on the dead ball line. He's allowed to get back inside and no challenge on him, no block on the goal. And I'm going under Edison. I know there's a bit of power on it, but it's something that maybe, maybe he could have saved. But the challenge should have been in on him before he even got anywhere near that. But it's disappointing because we've missed a penalty. We were on top. They were, had little chances, I believe, through the game. And um, the longer the game went on, the more I felt the City now are going to go on and we're going to nick this, we're going to score. We, we could have done with an away goal. Now, we've made it difficult for ourselves. We, we're going with a goal, one goal deficit. I do believe we'll beat Tottenham at home, I've no doubt about that. But that no away goal, they only need to score one, it makes our job hard again. We're making it hard for ourselves like we did against Liverpool last year. Well, at least it's not 3-0, is it? It's half time, let's face it, yes? But almost there, have faith. Keep the faith. That's your last word on it, is it? Tonight, yes. Disappointing, maybe. Last 10 minutes, maybe. A couple of changes would have helped. Let's face it. Keep the faith in pep. So City lose the first leg 1-0. It's been a great adventure coming down here, seeing this brand new stadium. It looks great inside. Not everything was right about the inside, as you heard from one or two of the people who spoke to me before the game. In terms of City's performance, not quite what we're used to. Uh, the goal scoring opportunities were thin on the ground. Obviously, the missed penalty opportunity for Sergio Aguero. But I still think that there's enough quality, assuming Bernardo Silva, of course, gets fit again for the second leg to try and turn this round back at the Etihad Stadium. But long journey on when you've just lost 1 0. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget, I'll be out and about vlogging again at Crystal Palace at the weekend and uh, next week for the second leg, too. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking on the little bell, which means you get notification. Of course, subscription doesn't cost you anything. And thanks very much for watching. See you next time.